So here we are, you guys, out in the Dallas vlog for the Tuesday tour. I'll leave the bike there. And I've already opened this gate. And I found um, Dallas Castle. Or da Dallas Tower, <laughs> I think it is, because there's, there's not much left of it. So, what I'll do is I'll head back and show you a very, very old church on the way back called Barney Church. And yes, that's my name. So yeah, Barney Church is a very, very old church. So what we'll do is just have a quick look around here, and I'll drive the bike back towards the, the church. And uh, that'll do this tour quite nicely, I think. But as you can see, it's just absolutely beautiful today in the valley. Just absolutely beautiful. And again, back that way is Elgin, and then we're about north that way, I think. Pretty much. But yeah, the, the, the Wolf of Badenich, the guy that um, burned down the cathedral in Elgin and lived out in Lochendorb Castle, both places that we've been. This was believed to be a storehouse. So as you can imagine it now, it would take about an hour to drive to Lochendorb from here. So on a horse you'd think it'd be 40, you know, you're talking like four or five hours probably. And then across to the cathedral and all that. Let's have a look. There's usually cows in this field, but Unless there's a big bull hiding behind that rock and I'm going to get it any minute now. But yeah, there we go, you guys. We've basically all we've really got is just a stack. And then the wall obviously seems to go all the way around here. All the way around this bit here. Let's have a quick look here. Yeah, and it's obvious, obviously over the years it's never been taken care of. Nobody's really took it on. Maybe it's just too small, I don't know. What's down here, sir? Oh, this is the barn. So we call it, you know, you guys might call it a stream, we call it a barn. A barn as in burn your hand, barn. Yeah. yeah, so there she is, what a shame. I see a big block here that looks as though that's where the outer wall was as well. And yeah, it's the this was the Wolf of Bade next door house. Still beautiful. Still love it. Old ruins and that, you know. But yeah, there's the bikey over there. Be a quick pan around. We're still not even really in springtime yet, so you can see all the evergreen trees and then the other trees that haven't budded yet. And there's our Dallas over there from yesterday. Just gorgeous. Like I said in the vlog, I would absolutely love to be able to sell our house and head out here. It would just be awesome. So guys, I'm going to tramp myself back over to the motorbike. And what we'll do is I'll head back to the Barney Church, which is just a few miles back. Which is just a few miles back. How awesome is that, you lot, in your Vs? Geese. That's what they are, geese. Yeah, so I'll head back to the church, you guys. And um, take a really good video there, I'm sure. Yeah, so here we are today, you guys, at the Barney Church. Been out vlogging and uh, headed out to see Dallas Castle, but there wasn't actually much to see. So I thought, well, let's head back towards Elgin and stop you in by our good old Barney Church. And yes, that is my own name. Yeah, there's quite a lot of places, Barney Road, Barney Crescent, Barney itself, Barney Church, you know me. But yeah, sorry guys, this is this a newer side of the the graveyard. And uh, like I said in previous videos, this um, church was, well, I believe it was 1150 when it was built. And it has held continuous Sunday services since then, which I think is the record for Great Britain. I'm not, I'm not sure. This is the, the real, sort of newer side. I'll oh, head into the old part. There's usually a lady and there's a man as well who can attend the, attend the place. So I don't know if I'll run into them, I probably will. So here we are in the sort of slightly older 
I suppose. Oh, there's one of that family graves. There's one, two, five. Five folk there. Yeah, but here we go, you guys. Look. Just so every little village in Britain has got one of these. So there's a First World War. Yeah, that's the First World War. Second, and there's still people who. That's awesome. Still keep laying those things. Look at this. To the glory of God in memory of the fallen. 1914 to 2014. They gave their lives that we might live. Yeah, so let's have a little look around. I mean, even these gravestones are a little, a little newer. That's 1968, 1913. But guys, when you know when you come across to the likes of this bit here, when these gravestones are that old, you can't even read them. You know, that's how bad they are. There's just maybe one or two of them. You can kind of get an idea. See. Yeah, that's 1853, that one. This one over here, 1870. So yeah, let's have a look around. Don't know who this dude was. He's got a, a real special wee garden as well. Let's see, George Leslie. He died in Elgin. 55 years, 1871. He got a fair old gravestone for himself, didn't he? And Oh, they've cut down this great tree that was here. It's a shame. Let's see, 1962. There's someone behind me. But there's someone around here somewhere, I don't know. Yeah, look, and those the piggies. Look, the pigs are just this big thing at the moment. Hello! Hey, big boy! Pigs are just a, a big thing up here just now. They must be must be making some good money. Because every set of road you go out, there's a pig farm at the minute. There never used to be. But yeah, sorry guys, I'm, I'm straight off track. Yeah, I mean, that, that bit looks as if that's been restored at some stage. That uh, sort of wall there, I think. This is such a beautiful place. Nice to come out just for one Sunday, you know. Let's have a quick look around. Yeah, we came here last year and took loads of photos of this place, and quite a few of you really enjoyed it, so I, don't, I always would sort of come back with the camera. So here we are. There's nobody around. There's certainly nobody around. That is, oh, that's in Latin. That particular one there. These must be the really old boys. The old ladies, I should say, as well. That's, that's in Gaelic. Is that, is that Gaelic or Latin? I can't tell. 1864 we've got. Dearie me. 1618. Heck, that's a really old one. Sorry, I keep getting carried away. Look at the dates all the time. <laughs> Show you the place properly. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Now they've put that, they're just trying to protect it from the trees and things falling on it. 1927, 1950. I don't mind walking on old graves, but not new ones. Certainly not new ones. Oh yeah. They have got a bell as well. Look, the chain comes down and the rope. Got a bell up top. I wonder if he actually signs that each Sunday. He probably does. And here's the other side. It's the Clodagh Bridge side. Yeah, I mean, look at, see these branches that are down here? That's obviously why they've covered over that statue. Or that gravestone, in case she gets... I'm pretty sure if she took a good whack from a branch, that would be it. Yeah, it's been a nice little place to live too, actually. There she is. It's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's be around the back. There's more pigs. Look. 
Okay, this wee lot. Happy as a pig in mud, we say. As long as I've got some mud, you're happy. Hello, big boy. A big girl, actually. Yeah, and I always, I always like this uh, this one here. Look at this. Old Garlic Cross. He was the Minister of Burnley. 1912. Yeah. See, there I go again. There's one down here. It's a Latin too. And let's see, what is this big boy for? Oh, it's two. Oh, Reverend John Kennedy and his wife. 1928, 1945. Oh. He must have had this place for a while, obviously, him and his wife. I'm pretty sure there's other Reverend Gravestones as well. Yeah, you guys, this is again, this is just for fitness for me. It's really get out and about and rehab after surgery, you know. And always hoping that you guys thoroughly enjoy these uh, little tours of the good old Scottish landmarks. Look at that. But for now, you guys, thank you so much. And I hope it's blessed you. God bless you.